I'm now in Moodle and every Moodle course page has a Mahara link to it. So I'm going to click on my Mahara link and what I'd like to do is to set up a blog. So I'm going to do that by just clicking on this blog link here. Now you can see I already have a blog but I'd like to create another one. So I just hit the create blog button. I'm going to call it e-learning tools. e-learning tools and I'm going to give it a description. And I'll also add some tags. Uh, don't forget to put in a comma between uh, any of the tags that you add. Okay, so now I'm just going to click the Create Blog button. And so I have a blog. That's what it looks like. If I want to add a new post, then I just click New Post. And I'm going to call this... Um, word clouds. and what I'd like to show you is um, first of all is how to link to a picture so um, if I just put um, Okay, so I'm going to add a picture. Now to do that, I've got two options. One is to link directly to an image that's on the internet, and the other one is to uh, link to one that's on my computer. So first of all, I'm going to link to one on the internet. So I'm going to um, I'm going to find a picture that I like. So I did a search for word clouds in Google, and I clicked on images, and that's thrown all these up. So let's say I like this one for example. So see here that I've got this is actually a direct web link to this word cloud so I simply just select that right click copy I can go to my blog and then if I select this um, this image icon I'll paste in the URL so right click paste and dimensions because it looked so big I think if I change it to well let's keep it at that for the moment and then click insert okay so that's now being put into my uh, into my blog I'm just making it smaller so okay Word cloud I just found on the net. Okay, so that is how to link to a file that is uh, linked to an image that's online. And now I'd like to show you how to link to one that's on your computer. So to do that, I'm going to click on add a file. And then I'm going to um, browse and upload a file. So this is the file I'd like to link to, this CPD Word Cloud. So I'm going to open that. And cancel. And you can see here that it's appeared in my attachments area. So I'm now going to close that. And so now, when I've just returned that, hit the return key, and now I just click the image again, and notice that where it says attached image, it's got my CPD word cloud JPEG. So that's perfect. So I'm going to insert that. And just as with the other image, I'm just going to click on the corner hold down the shift key and I can then make the image smaller. Again, just do that again. So now you can see I've got two different images. I'll just put this is the image I made. Okay. 
Okay. Um, and now I'm going to actually add a web link to a tutorial that I've just created. Uh, and I'm going to do that by going to YouTube. And this is the this is this is the web link. This is the web link here. So I'm just going to select and copy that. Go back to my blog and say Okay, and in this area here, I'm just going to create a link. So I'm going to put this insert link and then just paste the web link that I've copied from YouTube. And I'll call it tag C tag and insert. And now all I'm going to do is uh, save post. And what you'll see is that when I go back home and I go click on my blog area, you can see that I've got the eLearning Tools blog. I've got one post, which I'm now going to view. I just simply click on it. I've got some text. I've got an image that I've taken from the internet. I've got an image I created in Taxedo. And I've got a link that will take me to a YouTube video tutorial. That is the end of this tutorial.